Hello there. Squeezing myself between these plants. I want to speak to you about uh, something that I've received, which is I've received a healing from a friend of mine, Donna, who I trained to be a shamanic practitioner, and she has worked on me uh, for a little while, actually, almost the best part of a week. And it was a big thing for me to ask for help because it's not something that comes easily. And one of the things that encouraged me was when I realized the last time I had universal soul retrieval from my friend in Galicia was in 2011 and now I'm in 2020, nine years have gone by. And in that time, my sister's died, my mum's died, and I've been through all sorts of other things too. So it seemed like a really good idea. Only amazed that I didn't take action earlier because this thought had come to me different times. Always came up with reasons not to get on with it. So finally did so. And it reveals the full glory of the shamanic work from my perspective because when she tuned in and started getting information she saw an image and the image of was was of me on a chair bound and gagged with my arms behind my back and really interestingly with a knife in my hand and that is one of the powers of shamanic work is to come up with an image so dramatic so powerful so evocative that that image has stayed with me since she shared that information and it's taken all the way until last night to understand what it's really about and what I realize is that I just become like everyone most people I'd chosen to become obedient to the dictates of our the authorities and to put myself in isolation and I've obviously been in isolation for too long and I realized that that's what the image was all about so the image of me being bound and gagged was literally to express me being in blind obedience to the authorities the powers that um, make all these uh, declarations which then people obey and it was me obeying the commands to isolate that was actually me bound and gagged on the chair. However, me holding a knife was actually the way for me to understand that although that was the case, I was choosing to do that. And all I needed to do was to unchoose to do that. In other words, to choose to let go of isolation. And that's been such a helpful process in its own right. So I'm so grateful for all that Donna has done to help me with this work. And then she did some more looking into things and she realized that when my right shoulder packed in and I had those days without being able to move it until I gradually got it moving again, this was all to do with the part of me that is to do with moving forward, being blocked. So. I can understand now really that what's been going on for me is that I've actually been blocking myself from moving forward through fear and that explains what that was about and I would go even further to say that the incident with the hacking and the loss of money in my bank account I would actually say that that even relates on a shamanic level to me subconsciously having no awareness whatsoever creating yet another form of block to my freedom, to my ability to move forward and move on. So it's been a real learning experience and I'm so grateful for what she's done. And last night was when I started to get these insights and work out what was going on. It all started to make sense. And so I've been taking steps a day and little ones and big ones in fact and I am going to be having more contact with human beings I'm going to be visiting people I'm be having communication face to face and I feel like that's one of the lessons that I've learned from the lock up 
Um, and I do like this explanation that I came across on online about what's the difference between quarantine and what's happened to people all over the world is that quarantine is when the people who are sick get put into a space where they are contained so they don't spread their illness to other people. That's what a quarantine is, but what we've been through is quite the opposite because it's where the people that were okay, that were healthy, that had nothing wrong with them, have been locked up by government edicts. So that's been really helpful to understand the difference between the two and to realise that that's probably part of the gift of all this is we've those of us who've chosen to be isolated to the extent that I have, I didn't ever go 100%. I managed to keep in contact with my sister and um, on a regular basis and very regularly with a couple of other members of the family, but so little compared with what I'm used to. So I can see how it all works now. So really then me being tied up with holding a knife behind my back simply was to realize that I have the power to break the obedience and to choose to be a social being. So it's really brought to me the harm and the damage of, I've mentioned it once before, solitary confinement. Imagine having someone in prison and putting them into solitary confinement. Well, in a sense, most of us have got an idea, we've got a tiny flavor of what that's like, just a glimmings of an idea, because of course we haven't experienced anything that extreme. But yeah, what a journey. And so when I woke up this morning, I could tell that a negative energy release had been done because I have been so weighed down by a load of thoughts. And I know that a lot of them have not actually been anything to do with me. They're just thoughts that have been passing through my consciousness. And I'm normally aware of this and I normally do my absolute best not to get sucked in, but I did eventually get sucked in, especially the last week or so, and end up in a profoundly negative state of mind, uh, which was doing me no end of harm, obviously. Start thinking about it, I could just feel that she's done the negative energy release because I could feel that it's all been lifted today, and I'm no longer in this constant state of... Um, agonizing emotional pain which I I can't even remember how long I've been in that state I think it's something that came on me very gradually and stealthily which is often the way these negative energies work they kind of manage to get in you so subtly and stealthily that it's hard to even become aware until completely immersed in it so I realized that I was having a breakthrough last night when I came outside I did my healing for the earth and the inhabitants of the earth and I felt better. Now I've been able to experience feeling better each time but then suddenly I got back into the gratitude and the happiness and I thought yes. So one of the feelings I get about all this is it's all to do with people needing people. We do need other people and I think that by communicating and being with other people particularly face to face it tends to cause a lot of the bullshit that can come through being attached to negative thoughts just to dissolve. Just being in the presence of somebody else causes all the crap to just disperse. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the wonderful universal soul retrieval I've had from Donna and about isolation, being locked up and choosing to become free again. Thank you very much.